In this video, I'm going to show you how you can manually add a custom domain to your Webflow website. Now I've made a video showing you how you can do it automatically, but if it just isn't working for you or you don't know the login details, you can do it manually as well. So first go to Webflow, go ahead and then open the website you want to connect a custom domain to. Once you're here, go to publish in the top right and then click add a custom domain. Now if you haven't upgraded your plan, it will redirect you here to the plans and you need to get the basic plan and for that it is $14 per month and it will allow you to connect a custom domain without that you can't connect it so once you've got that plan you can then go ahead and go add a custom domain it will then redirect you to this window and here you'll see publishing now from here you can click add a custom domain down here and it's going to give you some options on what you actually want to do and how you want to add it you can quick connect it, that's gonna do it automatically, but if you want to do it manually, like this video title suggests, go manually add domain, then type in your domain. So my domain is registered on Hostinger, so I'm gonna log in and find the domain. So on Hostinger, I've gone to domains and then domain portfolio. And for me, I'm gonna connect learningforaliving.com. So we'll click on that and I'll just go ahead and copy it up here. So we'll copy this domain, We'll then type it into Webflow, learningforaliving.com. So now we can click add domain. And now what it's going to do, it's going to give us some CNAME records to connect. So now we need to add these records. There are two A records and one CNAME record that you need to add. And you need to add all three of these for it to connect successfully. So what we're going to do is we're going to first add the CNAME record. So we need to add a CNAME record. The name will be www and the value is proxy-ssl.webflow. So what you first want to do is copy the value of the CNAME record first, then go to your hosting uh, backend of your domain, then go to DNS slash name servers. From here, just scroll down and you may have some CNAME records already. What we're going to do is we're going to add this CNAME record from Webflow and if it conflicts, we can manage that after. So I'm going to go type, we're going to go CNAME, for the name, I'll type www. And then for the target, we'll paste in the text here from Webflow. Now, notice how it says that it conflicts with another record. So I'm going to find the CNAME record now that it conflicts with. So here is the CNAME record it conflicts with, this www CNAME. I'm just going to go ahead and delete that. And now we should be all good. Okay, so there you can see we've now got no issues. We can now add that record. So that is one of the records added. Now we'll go ahead and add both of these A records. So we'll copy the first value. We'll go to Hostinger, type A record for the name, leave it at, and then paste in the first IP address, then click add record. And then that should add that. And then let's do that one more time for this secondary one. So we'll go ahead and add again, the secondary IP address. We'll click add records. And it looks like there are some issues that can be caused because Webflow want us to add two A records. We're going to just confirm this and it will actually add it. No problem. OK, so that's done. Now we've added all of the records. Now we just need to click on check status on the A records. Now it can take a while here for it to actually recognize that you've added these. So just be patient. What I'm going to do is refresh this page and see if that helps. So let's try again. Check status. So we can see the C name has now connected. We're just waiting on the A records to connect. For some reason, it's not recognizing the A records. So my A records are taking quite a while here to propagate. It could take up to 48 hours, so I can't just sit here refreshing all day. Um, but if you just go to DNS checker and everything's green after you've entered in your URL, it means you've done it correctly. You just have to simply wait and just wait for the domain to propagate. And yeah, you can keep checking the status, but one of them has been connected. We're just waiting on this secondary one. So that is how you do it. You just need to add in these values. You can also do it automatically if you can't do it manually. But I hope that quick video was somewhat helpful. Thank you for watching.